Hey, Justin Forehand here with eXp Realty. Today, I'm gonna to be going over the top three things you should keep doing as a seller when you get under contract. But first, if you would like to learn more about the Huntsville area, feel free to subscribe to this channel. I'll be going over all the awesome places to eat, to live, and to play in the Huntsville area. And if you're thinking about moving to the Huntsville area, feel free to reach out. My phone number is 256-542-0226. I'd love, I'd love to learn more about you and your real estate needs and help you through the process of buying a home in the Huntsville area, and I'll, I'll have your back the entire way. All right, so now we're going to talk about the three things you should keep doing when you get under contract as a seller. The first one is keep your utilities on. So once you get under contract and get a tentative date on when you're going to close, probably two weeks prior or so, you should contact your utility company and discuss with them uh, the closing date and have your power transferred to the buyer uh, on that date. You don't want to get caught paying you know a week or so over uh, for for power when you're not going to be living there anymore. So rule of thumb is either closing date or some sellers like to have a day or so of play after closing date. So um, that's the first thing. Keep your utilities on. The second thing is if you have a current termite bond. Same thing as power utilities. You want to call your pest company two weeks prior and you want to tell them that you want to have that transfer to the new buyer and uh, you just don't want to cancel it. I had a seller one time that had to, since there was a current termite bond when they wanted a contract, they canceled it after the fact and then had to repay to get that back to being active. And, uh, that caused a little bit of a stressor between uh, the seller and the buyer, um, but we were able to get through that. But So if you have a current termite bond on your home, you want to keep that active until closing date, just like the utilities, you want to call and have that transferred uh, to the buyer on the date of closing or day after. And the third thing you want to keep doing while your house is under contract is keep cutting the grass, especially during the summer months. Uh, just because you're on a contract, doesn't mean you can just let things go. Most contracts have a clause in there stating that uh, the outside and the inside of the home must be uh, upkept during the time before closing. And it also just uh, usual good practice is to cut your grass probably two days prior to the final walkthrough. The buyer comes to the house for the final walkthrough. They're not going to be, if they see that the yard is upkept, they're not going to be as uh, on high alert when they get in the house looking for things. So you want to have the outside looking really nice, the yard cut, and then inside needs to be uh, usually um, contracts say broom swept. But I like to uh, advise my sellers to, to do a good job cleaning the house. Um, if, if you were one buying the house, you would want it to be in tip-top shape too. So I always make sure that my sellers clean the house and cut the yard a couple days prior and so that the buyer when they come everything is good to go and we can go to the closing table and close. So those are the top three things that you, you should keep doing when under contract. First we'll go over them again. First one is keep your utilities on. Number two if you have a current uh, termite bond you should keep that active until the date of closing. And number three keep the yard cut and inside uh, looking good and clean. So uh, that's all for this week. There's three ways that I've set up that you can learn more about the Huntsville market. Uh, number one, I have a weekly email that goes out, newsletter that has current events in the Rocket City, uh, the Huntsville area. And you can get on this newsletter list by going to rocketcityweekly.com, putting in your email address there, and every Friday you'll get an email with with all kinds of information about the Huntsville area. The second way is you can go to rocketcityrealestatetips.com and that'll take you to a Facebook group. And then when you join that Facebook group, you'll see posts by me and others that live in the Huntsville area. And just, I'll post all kinds of tips like this video in there and weekly uh, market updates and things like that. Whenever stores open or uh, new restaurants come in town, I'll post that kind of, kind of information in there too. So. Um, it, it's a great group to be active in. Uh, you learn things about the city that you wouldn't know uh, otherwise because 
uh, sometimes uh, that information just doesn't get around. And the third way is if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the Huntsville area, uh, you go to rocketcitydreamhomes.com to learn more about how to buy a home in this market. And you can go to soulwithjustin.com if you would like to learn more about selling a home in this market. Uh, these are just ways that I've set up uh, to allow you to be able to learn about the area and uh, just to show some of the value that I bring in a real estate transaction. So uh, if you need anything, once again, my phone number is 256-542-0226. I'd love to talk to you. And uh, that's all I have. Y'all have a great day. See you next week.